the Victoria 2 Hard Darkness of Nev Let's Play. As you guys know, um, I had to reverse the clock, and I'm actually farther than I was last time because I tried to get exactly where we were, and I think I got fairly close. I mean, we have our men being made, and we have all this going on, and our economy is just basically in hell. Okay, so right now, if you guys know, last episode we had a very shocking revelation, which is, um, even if, even if these guys did not start the war, I still cannot declare war on them. So, until somebody rips the uh, Russians out of the sphere, I mean, I could take on the Germans if they were to do this, but they probably won't. And, I mean, the Ottomans are easy to take on. Like, I could take on the Ottomans. The Ottomans are not a hard target, but the Russians are just... They usually have one of the biggest armies in the entire game. I, I'm sorry, people, but this would just be a slaughter, in my opinion. Like, I wouldn't even have... There, there is no no doubt in my mind that I could not handle these guys. I could handle Persia just because, you know, mate, we were slightly the same thing. We were civil. We were uncivilized. Russia is a civilized powerful big nation who already has bigger army, bigger tech, and bigger everything. The only advantage I could possibly have against them is I have better land bonuses. But that's the only thing I would have against them, so I had to reverse the clock, and I did not know personally that they would do that. I thought that, I thought it worked that if you declared war on them directly, you know, they would come in and go, you know, beat you up. But it's just basically if you try to fight them in any way, shape, or form, or take any land from them, the other powers will join in so I now know I won't be messing with that in the future but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna raise that doesn't mean I'm not gonna raise Persia to the ground like I'm gonna make sure Persia is dead by the end of this because now they oh they, they have they ruined my perfect streak basically they ruined my perfect streak I mean I had a perfect streak of like not going in and you know reloading or anything okay I'm gonna go kill some of these armies because I want to they've made me angry oh Sid you already did it for me thank you you had the same idea I did, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just going to like take over all these lands. I mean, we already have what we actually need, but we need to get a little bit more for what we actually need. So, since I can't work on Persia, what I'll probably be doing is working on other states like maybe Cockland or Khalid. I know I said I wouldn't conquer Khalid, but um, for a little bit, but I think they're probably the next target because they did betray us, and I'm still pretty mad at them for that. <laughs> I may look like a calm, de calm demeanor person, but when you betray me, I remember. And I'm still gonna get Sid back for that portrayal of Afghanistan. This is they. I said it did make them up for them fighting in this war, but I feel like it still doesn't. They still need to be punished, a punished, as some people might say, who have speech impediment issues. Okay, so the Persians are definitely trying to mount a defense. I don't really care. You guys are dead. I have all three of my armies right next to you, gonna go hit you, and I really don't give a... a, a I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm definitely mad at you, Purja. There, there is... There, no one can stop me from just upwards and just denying you almost every right you have to be a country. If I could, I would definitely deny you the right to be a country right now. But I can't, because I have the big gigantic Russians scaring, um, looking down on me. So... You're lucky in that respect, but doesn't mean I'm not going to go after you. At some point, in some way, I'm going to figure out how to get around this, and I'm going to take you guys down. And I'm going to make sure you guys cry for mercy. Oh, I will make sure you guys cry for mercy. You guys are not going to... You guys are going to beg me to kill you, kill yourself, because of what I'm going to do to you. Oh, yes, it'll be grand. It'll be so grand, and I better stop talking like this, because I probably sound like a very, very demented person right now. So, tariff, tariff efficiency. Actually, we don't need to save it for tariffs. We need to save it for economic, um, education systems. We need to get some of these ones, because these are actually a little bit more helpful. Land reform would definitely be helpful at this point. Since we don't have any, since we already got the main, like, ones I wanted. Um, uh -huh. Alright, so yeah, that was my, uh, little spiel about Persia. Does anyone in the comments, please tell me if they liked the spiel on Persia, or did you guys think it was kind of weird, kind of creepy, or what did you guys think of it? Because now since I'm going to have to readjust my strategy to deal with a almighty and all-powerful Russia, which is always a great sign, you know, dealing with an all-powerful and almighty Russia is always a great sign, you know, for good sovereignty in the world, but... 
Um, you know, actually, the best thing that would happen right about now is that somebody like the Germans would go in, take over Russia, and then make them drop out of great powerness. That's, you know, that's a good strategy for how we can go, um, you know, take over, take them over. It's just by convenient luck. And I'm going straight for the capital. Like, we're gonna go take over the capital pretty hardcore. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that'd be the best thing. So I'm waiting for land reforms. How long will it take? Oh, we can get land reforms. Okay. Um, land reforms, mining efficiency, tax efficiency. This would help us out so much. Let's get that land reforms. And now we have a lot more money. Because most of our people are farmers. And we have like three point... Okay. Go take them. Okay, I'm gonna go take out these guys before they start becoming all goopy in the head and thinking they actually have a chance. I mean, Persia's still fighting back, which I find is the most fascinating thing in the world, but, um, yeah, they won't be fighting back in a couple months, I'll give you, I'll give you that. Okay, you guys are definitely trying to mount a defense. Let me go right here, scare them off, okay, go right there. Yeah, they're not, yep, they definitely want to fight me here. Two to one ratio, I don't care if I lose as many men as I can, I'm killing you guys. Maybe I'm not killing you guys. Maybe I will actually lose this battle. No, I still won. Let's go kill him. <laughs> oh, Persia, you almost had me. Okay. So, yeah, we have almost all the territory I would have taken from Persia underneath my control. You know, if maybe, if if this was not so, like, um, guarded, maybe we could probably take a region from here. But I doubt we'd be able to um, gain the infamy, or not the infamy, the uh, time enough to take a region because... These guys, Russia would be right down our throats as immediately after we take a region. They'll be like, no, and you know, just start trying to fight us. So it'd be a very bad idea. But when we, when can we go to war with our neighbors, Khalid? Because I, I'm getting, I'm getting Khalid back definitely. I feel like I need to vent my steam onto them because they just, they, they upward betrayed me twice. Well, just once, but they betrayed me when I really didn't need them. And maybe with their army, they would have made it a lot easier with all this kind of stuff. So. You know, I'm, I'm not going to forget that. I'm really not. So, that's probably going to be our next conquest. It's ironic that that this war is seeming like it went on for nothing. I mean, we do all, we are going to gain Bakur as a potential little nation to boss around. Which is, you know, always good because then we get a little bit of a northern protection. And for future Persian war, because I will go to war with Persia again. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But let me just take over the capital. Yes! Okay. Now we got... Okay. You stop moving, okay. Persia, do you finally want the peace? I wanted you guys to get a while back. Bakura becomes a puppet. There we go. So, Bakura is now a satellite of me. They hate me. So, we might want to start mounting that relationship to be better. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a recording, I guess. Um, and next time, I guess you guys will see a different map mode because this is not what we're going to be going after first. We're going to be after Khalid. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Ah, we are back here in our Peneb Let's Play where we... Whew, I take a look. I have, I'm straight recording this because, you know what? I want to. And besides, I want to make sure I have good footage for this. So, I basically... um. Skipped ahead about a year, guys. I, I know you guys wanted to see that lovely year, but basically nothing happened. And I hate to waste your guys' time. I really do. So, um, yeah. I basically skipped enough time so that we could go to war against Khalid. Which they have a couple of alliances. They have Kiva, Cockland, and Bakura. Well, we know Bakura is not going to join in this war because they are my, they are my little... Uh... <laughs> Somebody will say the word, but you guys know basically what word I'm thinking of, so the that. And Khalid, well, they're about to be conquered. Oh, no, no, no. Decrease relations. I completely forgot about that. So basically in this camp, this episode, we're basically going to be decreasing relationships and kicking the butt out of Khalid. They deserve to be kicking the butt out of them because they betrayed us. So that's just simple. They don't have a big army. And since Penev, yeah, seriously, it is ours. If Bakura is going to argue for this, I will, I, I really wish there was a way I could just annex my own people. Okay, anyways. So for this episode, everyone, I'll probably save it too. And keep forgetting that you should not press F9 
for saving. That's not the same thing. And I did make a map mode for this. As you can see, it's not very well detailed because really it's it's just gonna be me just taking them over. I mean it's not this isn't gonna be an epic war like it was between us and Persia, which or between Afghanistan and us. Oh you gotta be kidding me! That is cheap. That is somewhat cheap right there. Okay. Luckily I had a plan for this. Release Aja. What you guys are thinking, what does that do? It releases this little nation right here. Completely de pathetic and completely devoid of life. I don't even care if it is released. It's so sad of a nation. I don't even care. <laughs> okay, the Khalid Menace. Thank you guys for being so supportive of me when I needed you guys to actually be good at what you do, which is giving me good causes by lies. Thank you, Intelligent Unit, or whoever wants that market. Please tell me you guys have better marketing in the future. Alright. So my al so my little pathetic ally of Bakura, he's trying to rebuild his army after his crushing defeat. Not really gonna work. <laughs> um, the UK is moving. Yes, it's ours. Oh, you better not be causing crises, Bakura. You are causing crises. The only thing good about this is that usually crises of this magnitude usually do not... Certainly our troops need, yeah, certainly our troops need mobilized. The good thing about these kind of crises is that usually no European usually takes them on. So I can easily just avoid them, but this new crisis system just stings, especially if you're little. And you just conquer new nations that don't really like you. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to decrease a lot of my, uh, militaristic spending because if you do not, if you're not even making a little bit of money, they don't build. Which is now what I realize why it's a bad thing to have, okay. You know, this would have been great if you guys had actually done this earlier. I didn't have to release a nation like Leh. Leh isn't really that bad of a nation. I mean, it's really quite empathetic. If, 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 I, if I find out later that Leh actually is some kind of, you know, gold mine for, like, oil or something, I'm going to retake them over. But right now, Leh is okay. Uh, we're definitely going to go take over this Khalid, though. Um, I'm honestly not worried about their allies. The only ones that are really going to be disconcerting are Kiva. Kiva's not going to be much scary. In fact, if I just go send an army up there, go protect Bakura. I know I don't really like Bakura, but I can at least pretend that we like you guys. Um, Sid might join in the war too, which means I could probably gain much more. Um, wow, you guys are being quite a brave little country for trying to take on the mighty British Empire. Like, legitly, I, I don't think I could do what this little country is doing, which is trying to take on the British. It's not going to work. Trust me. It's, you guys are going to die. Severely. I mean, you cannot... You can't you can't take on the British at this point in the game. I mean, at least until I actually... Maybe if I unite, like, all this part of India, I might be able to take them on. But right now, I'm still, like, way too weak. Okay, so I have a troops up there. Yes, we have some troops up there to protect that area. I'm going to combine these troops so that they'll be together. Okay, let's go to Clairwai. Oh, I'm so war hungry right now. Conquest, Annex, Colonialis. I don't even care. I don't even know what the rating is, but Bakura has to join in on my side. That's great. I love it. Okay, let's see. Nope. The treacherous Sadar just betrayed me. Of course. Okay, so it's just basically all you guys versus all you guys. Pretty simple war, I don't think. And, oh, there's one thing that did happen that one year, which is I did expand my forts. So, look for better forts in the future. Okay. So let me uh, see if I can make any more men. And I know that sounds really cheeky, but I'm gonna see if I how many men is there any recruitment AB yeah aviators? Okay, yes, we do have a little bit more recruitment because usually a lot of my soldiers usually die in these wars. So we need to already stop preparing for when they all are dead. That sounds really sad, but we need to stop preparing for when they all die. Okay, so we got a new massive recruitment ready for when they all die. Um, we have our tr soldiers over here protecting Bakura. At least, pretending to protect Bakura. Cochrane's gonna be moving in with their army. I really don't care about Cochrane. It's just, it's just really a pathetic state, to be honest with you. Okay, um... You guys actually stay right here. I'll make you guys a new army. Oh, no, not him. Oh, he's actually better than I thought he was. He's much better than last time I remember him. Oh, wait, that's not the same guy. No, no, cancel, cancel, close. Okay. So, let's see. We have approximately a good amount of troops over there. Um, we definitely don't want Pakua and, um, Kali to gain up on me. Um, so I'm gonna go attack the Cochlin troops right now. I just realized I'm not fully upgrading my soldiers right now, so they're probably really, really weak. I just realized that. 
So what we're gonna do is we're just going to hit them now. Now that we got our army now fully, it should be upgrading them for a little bit because we do. Yeah, you see, we we are more powerful than most of our next door neighbors, so we should be able to take them on pretty easily. Um, uh, yeah, this it's kind of disappointing. I had to get that full infamy hit. I didn't really want the full infamy hit, but sometimes you just have to take the full infamy hit. <laughs> okay. Puckland's obviously trying to be an evasive little people, but they actually killed off some of their own people. They also killed off some of my own people. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Can I win this? Nope, it seems like my people are gonna get slaughtered. Nope, I won. Good. Let's see, where are they moving to? This way. Okay, and probably the Bakuran capital will be conquered. I really don't care about Bakura. <laughs> it, can, it can really just go die. I really don't care about them. Okay, I'm gonna use... I probably have to combine these two armies because they actually are a little bit too weak. Okay. Now since these guys are in my territory, I'm going to go hit them. Destroy the rest of this army down here. And basically make sure they do not make any more new troops. Cochlin is now dead. Kind of knew that was going to happen. They're kind of still retreating, so let's see. Where are they going next? Is that right? Yeah, they're going to Cochlin. I'm killing a, I'm, my troops are dying like crazy, but as long as I keep killing more of them, then, then, okay. Did we kill the rest of the army? Yes, we did. Okay. We treat back into my own land, and we're just going to let Bakura get the, like, the destroyed, destroyed in this. And, because I'm going to, honestly, I'm just going to win this part pretty easily. And then after we, um, combine these two armies, we're going to go after the, uh, only Kiva army. But for right now, we just... We kind of have to keep it weak, or we have to kind of keep ourselves weak. What I'll probably do is build up a new army around these guys. Because that's always a smart idea. Yeah, it seems like they're not paying for any of this anymore. Because we just have too much expenditure. Oh, man. Well, eventually once we get like a massive population boost, we should be fine. Hmm. Oh, man. This is going to be a m secret police to the rescue. Oh, shoot. Ignore. Yeah, we definitely don't want the UK to hate us. UK must like us. UK already hates us. I'm really glad I did not do that because I just realized the UK would hate us even more. Cochrane's doing a very good job of taking over what they need to take over. I'm not really caring though because <laughs> this is not my land. This is Bakura's evil land, which I will destroy them. Just not right now. Just not in the way I think of it. And oh, I did update the map a little bit like the red map to where I decide I am going to include Persia, complete Persia. I'm going to annex all of Persia. Like, I'm going to figure out a way to annex all of Persia. I, I've come up with clever ways to get around loopholes before. I'm just going to have to think of another clever way because I did defeat the uh, Quinn Yai in my Canadian Let's Play spoilers. I did get this state right here of Quinn Yai. And this will probably be already up, so I don't. it won't be a shock to you guys. But I already conquered this and... Let me just say, I think the only way I did it was I probably had to influence them out of the sphere, but it was still awesome that I figured out a way to do it, okay? So now we have all of Lower Bakura, now we're just going to combine our men right here, and now we're going to go take back all of the north. Oh uh, wait, does Kali want my, uh, annexation? Yes? Okay. Thank you. You made life so much simpler for me. That's good. Now we have a big gigantic blob, everyone. Now this actually looks actually like a good gigantic blob. Like we actually do look decent. And Sid betrayed us again. So we all know who our next target is. Oh, Sid, you should not have done that. Especially since I do remember my own uh, friends, enemies, you know, betraying me. And I do not take lightly of it. I always go after... Shoot. Spain decline, decline, decline. Okay. So, okay, so basically what's happening is Afghanistan's trying to become free, but I guarantee no one's going to join this crisis. Yep. This is the one good thing about the crisis mode, though. No one wants to join it because I'm not a great power, and we don't really have much around here, so it doesn't really matter for this crisis to fall off because it's, it's really not that important. And Peneb looks like a really, really good blobbish nation now. We actually almost look as big as Persia. Probably have more population than them, though, already. Yes, 1.56, we have more than that. That's all we have to say to ourselves. We have more than that, and we just have to wait for our population to now heal. So where are our good, like, region? No, not region. I need, uh, not administrative. I need, like, supply limit. There we go. Where's the good supply limit? So our supply limit has slowly gone up. That's really good. So now we have, like, some good bases of 
of education. Is that true? Okay, never mind. No, that's not true. But these are still the two best places for supply. That's always good to know. We have terrible, terrible supply limits right now. So I'm just going to... Like, there, there's something that's, like, destroying us right now in terms of what we need. Probably education, if I must be honest with you. Education usually knocks the wind out of everyone. Oh, it's this. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then if we, like... Manage our education like this. Now let, let's decrease our uh, like this. No. We want to keep at least 20%. 31. There we go. 20% is all we need. Because we still need. We'll be producing everything. We just need to. Now since we're at peacetime, we don't need to be like uh, producing everything. Because Peneb is doing awesomely. Awesome. Awesomely. Is, is that a word? Awesomely? Um. I don't think it is, but awesomely, everyone. Awesomely. So, um, right now we have this big blobbish part of Peneb, and, you know, um, Persia's definitely been amassing allies. Um, two of the allies I already defeated, so that's not gonna be much, t that's not gonna be much trouble. Um, Bakura is not gonna join you. <laughs> Bakura is my little, like, state of destruction once they start building the oh man i'm gonna use it to my advantage which eventually they should start to do and when are they gonna start paying taxes and retinue for me so i'd love oh wait, it's not crusader kings 2 this is not crusader kings 2 they don't we don't have retinue in this game well technically we do but then we, we don't okay so right now france is destroying germany i wonder if this is the franco prussian war um it's a northern oh no it's a northern austrian brother of war that is an interesting development. So, France apparently joined in on the other side of Austria. They're both destroying... Yeah. Uh... Sure, why not? Let's just keep the practice. So, apparently this is, like, turning really badly for Germany. Because I bet the army can't... I, the army just cannot take both France and Austria. On their own, they could probably do it. But, well, maybe if they have Germany. If they have mighty Germany form, then they could probably take on both France and Austria. But since they don't have that, they can only take on one. Which really does stink for them, but it's true. They can't take on both. It's just going to kill them. Alright, so I'm going to move this army over here. This is our new, kind of newish army that's being created. And, yeah, for like the next... Oh, we have... For the next couple years, we're probably just going to be relaxing, chilling out, and... You know? Just relaxing. I mean, we really don't have anything. So, um, I'm going to end the episode once we discover another major technology I really want. Which is, um, economic... Uh, administrative also might be good. Might be. Well, actually, how's our administrative doing in our main capital? Hey! It's actually semi great I'm bu bureaucrats actually work over here. Sadly, they don't work anywhere else in our country. But, hmm. No, we need to get economic efficiency. Uh. Um. So, that's funny. The same exact friend decided to, uh. So, uh, I'm gonna tell him I'm still recording. <laughs> and he's probably gonna feel like, oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna be like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be like, yep, yeah, I'm still recording. You, you still, like, interrupted this, but it's okay. It's not like that big of a deal. I mean, most of you guys, most of the time I hear a Skype call inside of recording, I usually don't mind. I'm like, oh, yeah, the guy... That just means you have a social life outside of YouTubing, which is very good to know. Okay, let's see. How long is this going to take before I can even get one of these? Let's see. 9,000. That's going to be a couple years. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try to get something a little bit cheaper. Um, let me see. 55. Hmm. Tariff efficiency. Oh, I bet somebody would really love me to do that. Um, let me see. Land reform. Why not? Let's get tariff efficiency. Okay, so now we have better tariff efficiency. So we went from 1.2 to how much of tariff efficiency? So let's see. Our total funds are now... Let's see, tariffs are 2.7. That gives us a whole, like, 100%. That's awesome. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. This was an awesome Peneb. Let's... Pl not let's... Well, I'm not ending it yet, but... I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Oh, that felt good. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. We have conquered another little nation into our quest for the dream for India. Um, we're actually looking pretty big right now. We actually look like a threat. Like, 
at least on the map, we would look like a threat. So that's good, and yeah, in the next couple of years, I'll just be burning lots and lots of infamy. So that then I could probably go to war with Sid, and maybe we might get revenge on our little nation of Cochrane and all them. And maybe Russia might drop from great power Let's see how they're doing in this campaign. Eh, they're doing okay. Um, probably one war will probably knock them all down. Which I'm hoping either the Germans or the Austrians will do that, so... Cross our fingers, everyone. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys next time.